How to chop up an MP3 sample machine? That is a question that many of us would love to know because machine doesn't like allowing us to chop up an MP3 in their program. Good news for you, I found a good workaround that can be done fairly easy. And this workaround is very good if you have a specific tempo in mind for the sample you wanna chop up. So we're gonna go over that right now in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so we're going to kick this off in FL Studio. This is a software that I've been well familiar with for, I'm not going to say how many years because you won't, you wouldn't even believe me. But first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your playlist and you're going to make sure you have your step sequencer up. Okay. And for those of you who are saying, well, I don't have FL Studio, guess what you can do? You can download it for free. That's why this workaround works. You can use this software. What I'm going to tell you does not require the paid version of FL. You can use this for free. So watch this. Uh, hit F8. And what you could do is you could attach machine as a, um, as a plugin. Again, you could have within the free version, the free version of FL allows you to use the full use of the software. What it doesn't allow you to do is just to save your work. So that could be a hassle, but for why, for this reason, it may not be. Now you already saw I set my BPM to 96, machine is locked in at 96. And some of you may be asking, what if I don't have machine uh, locked in? Well, here's what thing you can do. You could also hit F8 or you could hit this plus arrow right here, right? Now I already have machine right here. All you're gonna do is go to more plugins manage plugins and all you're going to do is select the folder and you're going to select the folder that has the machine dll file once you can select that folder and you hit find um install plugins it's going to go through this entire list and it's going to do a plugin scan whatever plugins that you have from other software FL Studio will basically attach it on there and boom. And of course, this only doesn't work for machine. This works for other things like massive, hypersonic, whatever VSTs you have, this will work for. You get machine locked in, right? So once we have machine in here, we're gonna kind of forget about machine. I have an old beat that I made. Oh, it's already playing loud. So it's already playing loud. Let's put, let's do it again. I'm gonna click and drag it in here and we see it in here now one thing you can see if you are somebody who has worked with beats long enough you can tell where the beats going to change so right here that is super loud is there a way to turn this down So you can see right here, this right here is going into the fifth bar and this is already off a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit alt C and you want to zoom in as much as possible to get the most precise cut. And what we're going to do is go about right here and get your cut. You could stretch it out to make sure you got the, you got it right. And what you're gonna do before you do anything, hit Control B to get the paintbrush. Before you do anything else, left click right here on the wave part and hit Make Unique. What this simply does is this creates, as you can see, two separate wave files. Well, two separate files now, they're not wave files yet, but this creates two separate files. So before we try anything else, you, I already have it selected, but this right here, I would select it off and on again. Make sure this is highlighted. I'm having it blinking for you so you know what I'm talking about. But make sure this is this is on and highlighted because this is gonna be what helps you get through this whole entire process. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch this back all the way to four bars. Now, you see I have ease to move with this. You may not have that right away because this is normally online and it goes by line. Now, it's just locking in line because I already is locking it in place right here because I've already stretched it, you know, enough. 
But all sometimes we have it online. It may not be the case. You may have it a little bit before, a little bit after. You don't want that. So you want to put this on none. So you have way more freedom and you want to stretch you want to stretch out the the timeline to go ahead and hit this now i promise you this seems complicated because i'm taking my time to explain it but i promise you once you get the hang of this you can do this fairly easy so we're going to chop up i'll chop up two of these so one I'm going to play it so you can hear the difference in, in tempo and speed. Okay, let's play. Now, you notice it slowed down a little bit, right? That's because the tempo of these two cuts are not the same anymore. So we're going to fix that. So we could tell about right here is where the kick of the new bar comes in. So we're going to cut right here and cut that out. And just like the last time, this is going a little bit over four bars going into the fifth bar, right? So what we want to do is just stretch it back just a little bit and you want to zoom in to make sure it is not overlapping. See right here. Perfect example. I'm glad it happened. It's overlapping a little bit. Just this overlap here could make a sample go off beat. So we want to bring it in right here. Okay. All right. So now you may be wondering, how do I get these into machine? I'm glad you asked. You're going to click. Now I will say this, to make things a little bit easier for you. Click the magnet right here to go line. And you're going to double click and hold and drag to the fourth bar. That's what you want, right? And you're gonna hit Control R, and we are going to call this, I have I put these in my user file. So I'm gonna call this, uh, we'll put this in new, new audio where I got it from. New audio MP3 tutorial one. Save, save. We got a 10 seconds, perfect. And we're gonna do the same for this one. So these two right here. So what we couldn't bring over here, we can now bring over here. Now, I would advise not pressing space bar because that's gonna trigger these. So since I don't need those, I'm just gonna move those over there. I'm gonna move those over here. So now I have both of these in machine. So, the biggest question you're probably gonna ask, how can I move this forward? Big, best question ever. File, save as, MP3, tutorial. Now, watch what happens when we do this. Now, we're in machine. And moreover, I can go to audio and chop this up and move with this as an audio file just as I want to. I have the freedom to use the machine software with this. And this started as a audio sample. And now we can see even machine, we set it as 96. It became a 95.81 sample. That easy. We, we could do this. It's really that simple. So this is not only good for chopping up MP3 samples, but this is good for chopping up a sample that you don't know the BPM to. And if you're new to machine and you're somebody who wants to just to get started, step-by-step -step process of setting up your sounds and everything, you bought the collector's editions, you got all these sounds, but you don't know how to set up, this video right here will be a big help to you. Check it out, let me know what you think.